I'm here with Anil Shirastava, CEO of Le Clanchet. Thank you for joining us, Anil. And my first question to you, as a kind of battery maker and energy storage solution provider, what do you think about predictions from experts that we're just a few years away from an inflection point where EVs could be cheaper than internal combustion engines? I truly believe that EVs uh, could be cheaper and some sort of EVs, <laughs> if you go beyond cars, are already cheaper, frankly, from a total cost of ownership perspective, such as fleet, or fleet vehicles, buses, trains, commercial delivery vehicles, taxis. But to answer your question, let's put where industry has come from. In last less than four years, the average energy density for lithium cells has gone up from roughly 185 watt hours per kilo to 250 watt hours per kilo. So there's a significant improvement. Every time we incre increase the energy density by 45, 50%, you're actually reducing the cost by as much and more. So the industry is already on that path. What we see in Le Corche, and I believe that's broadly the industry, by end of 2019, 300 watt hours per kilo should be in the market. You compare 300 watt hours per kilo to 185 in 2015, that's a significant reduction already. At that point in time, we believe that the point you made, the inflection point, is very much in sight. And I mean, looking at potential barriers, I mean, is there a clear path for the massive scale up of battery production to supply millions of EVs around the world? I mean, we've seen issues raised previously around cobalt supplies, for instance. Mm -hmm. I mean, are there technological means of dealing with this? Or Obviously, there are resource challenges which will need to be managed, okay? However, if you can see what industry has done, cobalt is being talked about a lot, right? Just two years back, everybody is using a combination of chemistry, nickel, magnesium, cobalt, which was in the range of four, three, three. So three parts cobalt, okay? We are now in six, two, two only two parts cobalt, two parts magnesium, and six parts nickel. And by end of the year for Le Clanchet, we will be in 811, which means now cobalt is one, what used to be three just two years back. So that's the first part. The, if you like, the quantity of cobalt being used is reduced significantly. Second part, equally important, there's a lot of cobalt sitting in our drawers somewhere in the house or in a garbage place where all the old phones are there. That is intact. And last not the least, in five year time period, when there is critical size of EVs, you would have the recycle kicking in. So the combination of better technology, lesser use of metals such as cobalt, a lot of cobalt we is still available, and there is a recycling which will kick in in a five year time frame. So it sounds like kind of on the issue of kind of cost and sustainability, kind of those barriers to batteries can be overcome. But, but the other one is kind of, Charging. I mean, do you think that this is a tougher nut to crack, getting the charging infrastructure in place to encourage people to buy a new in fact, electric this car? This is the most attractive, in my humble opinion, this is the most attractive part for a lot of giants, such as people in this oil and money conference, should be focused on. There's whole kind of ways to do the charging. If there are areas in the world where grid may not be stable or grid may not be strong enough, one could think about swapping the batteries using robots. Okay, at least in fleet operation that's easily possible. There are things you can do by putting fast EV charging with coupled with energy storage so that you don't load the what do you call grid and you can still charge the cars fast. There are a number of things we can do in the infrastructure by which actually we can address the so-called range anxiety of customers that can be addressed. So it sounds like lots of, lo lots of challenges, but also the potential for lots of new opportunities. New opportunities is the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. Thank very you. Helpful. Thank you.